I'm not sure if I'm right, because I can still see another pillar on here. You'll have to scroll down for me. Just getting ready in case I am wrong. Can you see it up there, can you, on the phone? You're up on the phone? I'm yeah. up on my phone? You're up on the phone as, as not live? not giving the hint that I can see, so, hey guys! <laughs> so if you can see me, I'm just not sure yet, so I'm going to refresh. You can see I'm now the computer's probably better. I'm not sure what it's like. I'm just going to have a little home to myself. My name's Catherine Bright and I'm calling in from Tasmania, Australia, following on these awesome musicians um, and just checking all our tech to figure out whether or not we're working. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm trying to look at a monitor down here which doesn't seem to be scrolling live, so um, Kim's just checking out for me. Yeah, that's sorted out. Um, speech is still going. Okay, apparently I haven't interrupted that. Um, I'm not sure what to do now. You can ask Ron if you can. I'll just play while I'm waiting. sure if I'm live yet. Ronica, if I'm live, can you tell Kim that I'm live? giving gigs. Okay, can you share to giving gigs please? I'm not sure that's supposed to go through giving gigs first. And I don't think we did. Hello everyone. Having a little techie issue here. I know that we need to go through giving gigs to get the concert out on the um, uh, Guinness Book of Records. So I'm hoping that we've done it the right way around. But if not, I'm just going to have to go live I think from Catherine Bright Music, Kim, and share it into giving gigs for me. Okay, I'll just continue with this one till we get ourselves sorted. So this is an original that I've done on uh, a new album that's coming up called Ambience, which has a whole heap of um, instrumental tracks. It's 
going to be nice. Um, so we're going to be able to work from that. And um, it's called I See You. I have recorded it. I just haven't got it out yet. But I'll just keep playing until I get uh, word that Kim's actually got us sorted into getting gigs okay. See you. How are we going, Kim? Are we in giving gigs? Um, short playing. Oh um, dear. Okay. I'm just going to check over here just to see what is going on. I want you two seconds. And uh, just hang in there while we see where we're going. seem to be going live out of that. I should be two seconds. Hi there. Oh, we have a lot of people looking at me. All right. Well, that's okay. We're going all right. <laughs> I can't read any comments. I'm sorry, guys. Something's happened with our tech, but I can see that there are people watching me. So I'm going to continue with my gig. Hello, Veronica, um, Nicola. I'm hoping you're all there. I know I've got Catherine uh, Martin Veronica in America. Ah, yeah. um, oh, good. Thank you, Veronica. Sorry about the little techies there. I hope you enjoyed my uh, ambient song to start with. My next one's an original. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I am living in Tasmania now, but I was in New South Wales before that and um, did quite a lot of uh, original sound lounge gigs up there in Port Macquarie where I lived. And um, I got to experiment with lots of originals. I know Veronica likes them and I can't see your comments right now, love. So um, anyone who wants to give me hearts, please, please do so. So this is called Beachside Love on the Riviera. It's an original I wrote which has some French in it. And um, you have to imagine yourself because now we can't travel due to COVID and we've got this amazing COVID gig for everyone to, uh, to be part of. And um, we can't travel overseas, but we know that there are people overseas watching. And um, this one is based upon your dreams of walking on the French Riviera with your love. Uh, eating tough. 
half pass and having a ball. Here we go. start there, including the fact that I didn't plug my guitar in, it's all good. <laughs> my mic is picking it up. Ah, oh, lordy, lordy. Come on, here we go. Oh, does that sound good? All right, next song is also an original. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, this is called I've Loved You Since the World Was Flat. You'll get it in a minute. Looking back at me, 
Thank you. Now I'll try and see if I can see anyone's comments. I'm frozen again, so, oh no, yep, no, I'm frozen. Hopefully you're all loving this. I'm afraid that I can't tell too much on here, but um, just love to everyone who's tuned in and thank you to Mike Manley, Veronica and Nicola and all the awesome people, Terry Linda, uh, all those people who are participating in Go Co Gig, to Doug, to everyone, all the musicians for spending your time through. Um, and I'm going to be doing some originals and some covers today. So just a few little uh, originals coming through first. Have a little drink. Yep. Do you like my Chrissy decks? Christmas Down Under. Ooh. Now this one's called It's More Just Because You're Gorgeous. Um, Sylvia, my friend in Port Macquarie, um, really loves this one. So if Sylvia happens to be watching this, yo ho. Um, I wrote this one day because I was stirring the gravy in the kitchen, as you do, and I just started thinking about my husband and this sentence, it's more just because you're gorgeous, came through. So I decided to write a song about it. So this is it. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. Um, Alex Smith, lovely song. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I can actually see some comments coming through now. Um, let's have a quick look what we've got. Hi, Cheryl Anderson. Thanks for the music. Thank you for listening in. Nicola, hi. She's coming through giving gigs. Yay. That's good. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, I've got a bit of, I'll just tune this because I've got an interesting song coming up next. Um, this one got up in the um, shortlisting for the Australian Songwriters Association last year. Um, and it was inspired by a friend of mine giving me a few Spanish sounding chords that I kind of put together and thought, oh, you know, I really like to do something Latin. And um, I'd like to do a love ballad. So I wrote the Latin lover lullaby. <laughs> Don't you love that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, the Latin lover lullaby. So you are not to fall asleep on your Latin lover, they tell me. But this song is um, not about falling asleep. Ready? Here we go.
songs that I just, it's nice to uh, get a chance to do some instrumental um, tracks and uh, have some fun with that. And uh, hi Terry, how are you? Now Terry I believe is a COVID nurse from the States, um, correct me if I'm wrong but I think so and it's really lovely to have you here and congratulations on all your good work and all the team over there who are doing such great work with COVID. It's really nice. This, um, you know, speaking of causes and the way that we have, um, we've had the bushfires, natural disasters, everything's happening. Last year in Australia, we had such disaster bushfires, as you know, before COVID, you know, <laughs> made 2020 cemented. Um, and I wrote a song called Fire Away because I found it so frustrating. It's a bit like a ballad for me on a, on a you know, folk song, political ballad. But it's... Um, in support of the firies, because without them, we would have lost our house. Uh, we had the fires come to within 800 metres of our place in Port Macquarie in New South Wales, where we were living, uh, before we sold it. And um, we would have lost our house that day had it not been for the local fires, firies. And we had like 12 trucks and they were bombing and water bombing and planes and the whole thing going on because all the rainforest went up and there was a nesting ground for koalas there and 300 uh, koalas died. Um, you know, in that day, and it was just horrific. And this spread, as you know, all over um, Australia. You know, the whole East Coast was pretty much on fire there for months and months, no rain. And at the moment, they're full of floods. So, you know, honestly, climate change is real. So um, I wrote this song called Fire Away, and um, there's a real need, I think, for people to just have a voice and say what they think, you know, so I did. And it got in the 2019 Bushfire Summer Playlist, which I was really honoured about on YouTube. Um, and hello, thank you, Terry. That's really nice. She says, thank you for your beautiful music. Thank you. So this is Fire Away. Um, I entered this into the ASA Awards this year. I got shortlisted, but not, not in the final 30. I got a few up last year, so that was a bit sad, but probably a little political. Let's see how we go. Fire away, fire away, fire away. 
Frozen again, yeah, frozen on the comments as usual. This thing does not seem to work. <laughs> okay, so a bit too happy now. I wrote a Christmas song. Giddy. I wrote it last week actually. Um, I'm doing the performance in case Nicola Shane is watching, and I know you're from Hobart. I will be at the Fern Tree Tavern with the Australian Songwriters Association on Saturday night. Uh, I think I'm on at 6 30. We're doing about four or five songs each of our originals. So if you're interested in coming, Nicola, I'd love to meet up with you in person. So this is my Christmas song that I wrote because you need to have a Christmas song for that and I needed to have a Christmas song for this. I have decorations. Tra la. Ah, so, oh, nice. Oh, thank you. It's just restarted again. Thank you so much, everyone. Love you. Um, now, this is my Christmas song. Uh, quite different to the last one. Yeah, I know, it's quizzy. 
Hooray, hooray. You know, we've had a big week this week, so I'm not still walking. We've been moving house um, and stuff and unpacking boxes from way back when we couldn't because the removals arrived and just all sorts of stuff. So um, just the most wonderful thing is to get planned music, guys. Thank you all for everything that you have provided for us, Mike. It's awesome. Okay. Feels good for you to... Uh, I don't think I can get... It was it seven or 8,000 hearts that Doug De Jong got earlier. <laughs> don't mind if anybody wants to push him, though. Okay, so please save our babies today. This is another original. I will be doing some covers after this as well. Um, this is a song that I wrote back in 2015, and it occurred to me then, and gosh, look at it now, um, that it's probably not a good thing to have all your kids parked in front of the TV watching all the news headlines these days. Um, it could be a little bit challenging for them. So the poet in me wrote this song. This whole thing going, I dedicate that to you because it takes visionaries to move a mountain and I know that a small group moved this mountain um, and to all the people who did volunteer for Kobe, just thank you so much. Okay, so um, I'm going to do an original, um, not an original, I should say, I'm going to do a cover now. Um, oh, thank you for joining, that's all lovely. Thank you guys. Fantastic, says Terry. Thank you, sweetheart. Really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to do summertime, nice and deep. That's summertime, but not an original. Summertime and the 
Summertime. One of my favourites says Kylie. Our styles are quite different but both enjoyable, I think. Yes, young Kylie, I'm looking forward to having a jam with you. Kylie lives up at St Helens on the east coast of Tasmania. I've seen her singing, she's great. So that would be really lots of fun. Thank you, Nicola. I don't know if I missed anybody else's comments there. Ah, don't touch everything. Oh, I just touched everything. I think I did. Just got out of something. Oh well, can't see anything anymore. We'll just keep going. This one is um, an original, again, but this one I wrote, it's called The Angry Man, and um, it's a dedication to, well, domestic violence, people have tough marriages. Um, I wrote it 20 years ago at least, and um, I couldn't play it for years because I was a victim of domestic violence, and uh, it was one of those songs that I couldn't sing until I was healed, and I also know that there's so much in that space, and this is not a depressing song, so you can listen in. Um, it's a rock song, which is different. Okay, so here we go. Change your pace. I need to be on for a lead here.
putting up the PayPal link. Yeah, if anybody feels like they'd like to donate, please feel free to do so. Happy to receive any bits and pieces of appreciation. There's a paypal.me link there. I'm just going to tune this up because I'm going to do a ballad that's a cover now. Um, this is one that was made famous by John Farnham here in Australia. And I'm assuming probably went to many other countries because he's quite well known. Um, and it's called Burn For You, so it's a ballad. And um, I'm swapping around all over the place, aren't I, today? <laughs> Doing a little bit of everything. I'm quite eclectic, in case you didn't notice. Um, I do hope you're enjoying. By the way, you can find my links in the description on this. Oh, there's a muzzle. Um, you can find my links in the description. Um, my work is available on iTunes and Spotify. I've got a YouTube channel and a Facebook page and a website um, with all sorts of things. So if you're interested in purchasing anything, listening for free on Spotify or anything else, please feel free. All the links are there. Um, no obligation at all. Just want you to have a good time. But, you know, it's always good to support an artist. So if you feel free, feel free. Um, okay, what does that say there? From Kylie. Not been through it. May never have found my way to Tasmania in my current life had I not. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I know. It's a big change and my current husband is the most loving man. You know, there's hope for us all in these places. So now this, um, it's a very serious topic, you know. It was, it was pretty damn traumatic to little kids. But, um, you know, it, uh, it just shows that if you have faith in yourself and if you're a bit philanthropic and you work on your healing, all things are possible. We have our days. Everyone still has their days. Okay. Now this is uh, called Burn For You, the John Farmer song.
Mike, oh, you darling. She says, I think I've got some dust in my eye. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Such emotion is very touching. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Um, I just dropped my pick. Professional musician always keeps an extra for that. Now a happy one. Okay, thank you for, for loving that one, guys. Um, feel free to put some hearts up. I'm still never going to compete with Mike, but <laughs> you never know. Um, Baby's Breath and a Diamond Ring. Now, this is one that I, um, I wrote actually for a banjo. It's too hard to rig all that up today, so um, you have to pretend I'm playing the ban banjo when I do this one. And it's um, written about uh, your kids leaving home and you become an empty nester next stage. That's what happens. Okay, so here we go. An original. Baby's breath and a diamond ring. Baby gave me everything. Sweet perfume and holidays, new lingerie and awesome braids. Babies grew and we did too, far away from the pain we knew. Time clocks run and children fly and mamas got no more lullaby. tell you too far away that I did before was up last week in the Reverb Nation playlist for most popular singer songwriter. Awesome. Now I know we've got uh, very close to the end of this now. Um, I don't know what other things we have here. I think it might have frozen again. Um, but I'm going to do a cover now. This is My Sweet Lady by um, uh, John Denver actually. And I hope you like this one. Lady, 
just begun Close your eyes and rest your weary mind I promise I will stay right here beside you Today our lives were joined and became entwined I wish that you could know how much I love dedicated actually um, today is would have been my dad's 100th birthday had he lived he did pass of cancer some years back but today would have been dad's birthday happy birthday dad happy birthday to you 100 good innings to my old dad's dad <laughs> i've got one song to finish off with and if they cut me off they do but i love it and it's called wicked game and i'm just going to go out with a bit of rock okay here we go Thank you all for coming and listening to me today. Much love. Please like, please share.
to Mark Manley again, to Veronica, to Nicola, to Terry, to Doug, to all the people who are watching. Hello to Catherine in America. I know she's watching. To my rallies in Holland, to Rainus in Latvia, to all the people who said that they would be watching today. And uh, just one, one, one. Up for the next person. <laughs> Lots of love, guys. Bye. Bye.